Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of this freshwater to salt water conversion series. Uh, here's the pr protein skimmer, as you can tell my shipment's here. Um, here's the box, Coral Life 65, and here's the sand, it's the seafloor special grade carob sea uh, sand. It's going to be going in here, and uh, I'm going to go, and actu actually here's the Dr. Tim's one and only nitrifying bacteria that's going to go in the tank as well. Um, let me go and uh, wash the sand and show you how it looks. Here it is. Here's the sand. I'm taking basically half and half and washing it out in this bucket. And it's really, it, it leaves this uh, milky residue, which I don't want in my tank, but it's probably going to leave some anyway. Anyway, let me go put it in the tank and show you how it looks. Here it is. Um, in case you guys are wondering, this is a voiceover, so um, that's why the video and sound are kind of messed up. But yeah, it's uh, really, really milky right now. Here's a protein skimmer. Um, if I'm correct, uh, the protein skimmer and uh, the filter should do the job and clear this tank in a couple hours, I'm hoping. Um, but the protein skimmer really kicked in really quickly. I was actually surprised. Um, it's uh, taking in this uh, the, all the milky stuff from the water uh, that the sand left, basically. <coughs> Let me show you the inside. That's all that milky stuff coming out. I'm using this uh, skimmer as a hang-on skimmer for now until uh, it's going to be installed in my future sump that I'm hoping to build in the next week or so. Well, yeah, here's the collection cup and i um, hoping the water clears up really soon. Anyway, let me edit this video and uh, go ahead and show you how it looks in a couple hours. Here it is guys, uh, this is about three and a half hours after. Uh, it's cleared up quite a bit, uh, but still pretty milky. I'm hoping by tomorrow morning it should be completely clear. <coughs> so, this, uh, the view is without the metal highlight. The metal highlight is off because it is night time. And uh, the sand looks actually pretty good. Um, I did a liquid water test with my uh, Red Sea test kit and uh, the water perimeters were pretty good. I was actually going to do a test uh, strip uh, test just to see how the tests match. Let me show you the results here. Nitrates are at zero. Nitrites are at zero. And um, alkalinity is about 350 or so which is good and pH I do have to raise so I do have the buffer uh, the pH is at about 7.9 I will be raising that hopefully to about 8.2 and um, so I added my I went ahead I went ahead and added my cleaner cleaner shrimp uh, into the tank along with the two peppermint uh, shrimp that I had the sand actually looks, looks uh, really nice um, I love the size of the grain of the sand um, it's perfect, it doesn't give any sandstorms or anything, and uh, the sand actually comes highly recommended for reef tanks. There's a the little shrimp, one of the shrimps, the peppermint shrimp, and uh, here's the cleaner shrimp hanging out. Still pretty milky, the water should clear up soon hopefully well, yeah that's my aquascape and uh, I like it might keep it for a while I did have to add about two heaters into this tank to raise the temperature because it is cold here in Toronto Canada and there's the pump for the protein skimmer it's just lying there until I just a temporary solution until I get a sump and um, it's collected this uh, 
liquid, this dirty liquid. It's pretty milky and uh, it's doing the job basically. I had to tweak uh, the skimmer quite a bit uh, to make it work properly, but it wasn't too hard. There's one of the shrimp guys. Anyway guys, uh, that's pretty much my update. and. Um, this is part four, so I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on. And I'll give you another update when the water clears up completely. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.